Joining us now is Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt. It's great to have you back on, Eric. Um, uh, sir, can we talk about Afghanistan? Because your, your state is down near there near the border. The president comes back into D.C., gives a scripted response about the collapse in Afghanistan, says the buck stops with me. Then he says his hands were tied by Trump, that he, and then he blamed the Afghan military. But you're down there, near there with Texas and the rest of the border states. I mean, the DHS and the Joint Chiefs of Staff is were warning about terrorism crossing the, the border as well. What do you say? Well, I think what this shows in the last week or so is just a complete failure by the Biden administration. And, and Joe Biden, personally, a lack of leadership. What's happened over there right now is a tragedy. You see the images. Um, and this is all on Joe Biden. And, you know, we, um, you know, the AGs across the country, it's part of our job uh, to, and you know, to, to push back here what's happening with the Biden administration. One of those ways that we're doing it is on immigration. And on Friday night, we scored a big victory uh, for border security and for the rule of law. So on day one, Joe Biden reversed President Trump's remain in Mexico policy, uh, the migrant protection protocols, which basically said that while you're seeking asylum to come into the United States, Mexico will be the waiting room. Joe Biden reversed that on day one. And so what have we seen? We've seen over a million people cross the border illegally that we know of, that we know of. There are over 200,000 in July alone that have crossed the border uh, illegally. And what we know is that nine out of 10 asylum seekers, they're bogus claims. We also know that there's a profit motive for really bad people taking advantage of this humanitarian crisis by way of human trafficking and drug trafficking to get people across the border. And now under Joe Biden's policy, after he changed President Trump's, they come into the United States, they seek asylum, they're released into the interior of the United States, never to be seen again. So this win that we scored on Friday night basically will get us back to President Trump's policy, which will mean a more secure border, which will mean uh, some integrity in our immigration process. And so it's a big win um, for the rule of law. There's no question about that. Yeah, it's a major victory for your state and for Texas and other border states. The federal judge in northern Texas, he found that the White House had literally injured Texas and Missouri after noting increases in human trafficking and other crimes at the border, uh, right? So that's what he was talking about as well, injury to the states. Yeah, and, and principally Missouri, you know, we were speaking on behalf of all of the states that aren't directly on the southern border, but we've made a big emphasis in our office of taking on human trafficking. Missouri has a number of interstates. We have, you know, rail and river and interstates intersect in Missouri. And so as we continue to fight that battle, having a porous and completely open border on the southern border, we know that exacerbates that human yeah. trafficking. And by the way, there's dollar, there's value associated with women and children. These are bad people who are taking advantage of a situation, bringing them to the United States. They claim asylum, they get a court date, and on an honor system is supposed to show up, okay. and they don't show up. Got it. So this will add this victory that we had on Friday will get us back to President Trump's very successful policy of saying yeah. Mexico will be the well, way. Now that, you'll, now you'll have yeah, now there's a You'll nationwide injunction from this federal judge. Go ahead. Yeah, no, it, it is a nationwide injunction. So this is a big deal. And this is one, this is a staying defeat for the Biden administration, who has no regard for the rule of law. On day one, you know, they canceled the Keystone XL pipeline. We're suing on that. They, you know, created something yeah, okay. called the social cost of yes, right. pushing back on that and also on immigration policy. The judge has uh, found that the administration broke the law. Let's listen to... DHS uh, Secretary Alejandro uh, Mayorkas on audio talking about what is happening at the border is pretty bad stuff. Listen to this. How close do you think to breaking fear uh, in this sector? And it's our responsibility to make sure that um, never happens again. This is unsustainable. Uh, these numbers cannot continue. We cannot um, get to a point where we were a couple weeks ago. And we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. We're looking at the policy options. That was the Homeland Security Secretary. He, he was uh, secretly recorded an audio. Uh, he's saying it's unsustainable. The system is at a breaking point in certain regions. Your final word. It's not sustainable, which is why it's up to the states now, unfortunately, to bring sanity to this. And that's exactly why Missouri and Texas filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration. We want to bring, you know, border security and the rule of law back into play here so that you have those folks who are seeking asylum. They can have their day in court, but they're going to remain in Mexico so okay, we don't, gotcha. you know, lose track of 
as they're released into the interior of the United States. Eric Schmitz, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Come back soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.